Who's that? Front door. I made a huge mistake with bike racks that cost me thousands of dollars. Hopefully, after watching this video, you don't make the same mistake. I'm also gonna show you the Thule T2 Pro XT with the add-on, four bike trailer hitch mount. We're gonna unbox this, these guys and get it together and get it on the car. You gonna help? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay, there we go. I gotta pop in here real quick and tell you about our giveaway. Bike Suplex Kit, it's a subscription-based cycling kit company, has sponsored my channel, and we're giving away 100% Speedcraft sunglasses. So just go in the description, and all you gotta do to enter is go to their webpage, and that's it. I'm also giving away the Samsung Buds Pro. They're, that's gonna be in the description as well. All you gotta do to enter is click the link. All right, let's get back to the video. So now we're putting in the extension. So I had to turn it over to make sure this set screw sits in there and for it to connect, do you see how it sits like that? Gravity has to keep it down for this to go in. So now we just slide that in. We got it. Working, great, okay. Now we just gotta put our bolts in. All right, I need those bolts, buddy. You're gonna help me with those? Okay, get them ready with the washers. Can you do that? We got all four racks laid out, and I just need to put these and these on each rack. And it's pretty easy. Just need some screws. is attach these to the base and I'm done. Let's do it. I'm gonna get it on the car and then I'm gonna tell you why I bought this rack and what I really screwed up and what I wish I knew years ago because it cost me a lot of money. Let's go get this thing on the car. Okay. Whoa. Oh, you hit the camera. Are you okay? You good? Oh, I can't believe that just happened. No, okay, I told you, you can't play with that, buddy. Look at his hands Thanks. here. Dang. Yeah, they're disgusting. Here. Okay, don't do the same thing, okay?
This rack is so much heavier than I thought it was gonna be, but I literally smashed it. I slipped and smashed the rack into the back of the car and dented the back of my car. Ah oh, well, car's five years old, it's fine, I'm not, no big deal. But that was one of the biggest surprises that I had with this rack was how long it took me to put together. The two things that hung me up the most were moving the handle to the add-on and then understanding that these different racks go in a certain order. And once I figured that out, it was fine, but it takes a while. I would highly recommend that you either have an impact driver or a ratchet because doing it with that Allen key will just take you forever. That's what I did. I went out and I bought a ratchet. So why did it cost me so much money? Let me show you guys. This is the trailer hitch that was originally on the car. And you can see it's an inch and a quarter. An inch and a quarter will not take four bikes as we have here. So I had to replace the hitch with this big two inch trailer hitch. I like the way it fits better, but it was expensive. I had to pay $150 for the hitch. I already paid about $150 for this hitch. I was lucky that I was able to replace it myself. It was only six bolts right here, three on each side, and I was able to take them off and do it myself. So guys, if you are looking for a new trailer hitch, please do yourself a favor and get a two inch mount because you can always get an adapter for your inch and a quarter. I didn't do that. It ended up costing me a ton of money because I, I purchased the hitch. I purchased the inch and a quarter Thule and I need to carry four bikes because now my kids, my son wants a mountain bike and we're gonna be traveling with four bikes most of the time. Why did I get the Thule? I have experience with the Thule. That's the rack that I've been using and I haven't had any issues with it. I actually had someone back into it and dent the handle, bent the handle over and it still works fine. I really wanted to try the one up, but it was like a four week lead shipping time. And because we're down here in the United States from Canada and I had to ship my car down, I shipped my car without the rack, knowing I was gonna buy a rack down here because we needed the four bike rack and I flew with my bikes. I knew I was gonna be purchasing this rack. Like I said, I wanted to try the one up. I really like that rack. It looks amazing, but I needed the, the rack quickly. They, they sell this Thule on Amazon. I knew I was gonna get it in a couple days. So that's what I did. One of the biggest things that I would have preferred with the one up is I think it's considerably lighter than this rack and like the struggle that I just had putting that thing on and off the car because of how heavy it is. It could have been just because it was my first time. Now that I know how to do it, I probably won't struggle with it again, but it is a heavy rack and it has me concerned about the overall load on the back of the car once we put all of our luggage in there and all the kids are sitting in there. But I'm sure everything will be fine. We'll see how it goes. If I have a problem, I'm sure I'm gonna let you guys know right away. I like this rack a lot, as you can see, there are no issues with any of these bikes touching. And it's something that I really like about this rack. I can throw them on in any position and I don't have to worry about these bikes rubbing up against each other. They have tons of clearance between them. But the takeaway from that is that these bikes are sticking out far. Like check this out. Like look at how far that thing sticks off the back of the back of the car. But it's a great rack, I know it's gonna work, I have confidence in it, and I know I have nothing to worry about while using that rack. Well that's it guys, it was a quick video today. I wanted to show you the installation and tell you why I picked this bike rack, and most importantly, hopefully you don't make the same mistake I did and buy the wrong trailer hitch, because it cost me at least $1,000. And uh, yeah, and now I got two racks, I gotta sell the other one. Anyways, that's it guys. Don't forget about my Samsung Buds Pro giveaway. Link will be in the description. So please register, it's my thousand subscriber. Thank you from me to you. That's it, all you gotta do to enter is enter. That's it guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button because I'm uploading cycling content at least three times a week. So if you love cycling, please consider subscribing. And that's it guys, if you like the video, please like it and I will see you soon. Bye.